good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night. Welcome back to Abstract Medicine. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in as well. So today we're going to do a divine love spread uh, for the collective. I'm just looking at my notes here and it's going to be um, a collective reading. However, there's going to be three cards that I'm going to be choosing from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot deck, where you can tune in to each card and see if those cards resonate with you. And then we're going to go straight into the Celtic Cross spread. So just take the messages as they resonate. This is going to be a general reading. Um, this is also about the journey, the journey towards um, divine love too. Okay. So this could be, you know, you're in a relationship, but you there's something that's missing, you know, um, there's something that's missing. You may not be on the right page, but there are other factors involved here where there is there is um, a connection between you both, but it's not quite right. It doesn't fit the bill I'm hearing. OK, so I'm just making a note here. Just bear me one second. <clears throat> Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So let's have a look. Angels, accessors, guys, please help me to deliver the messages with the dreams of Gaia Tarot deck for those who are wishing to and wanting to know about the journey towards divine love. Please help me here and make sure that they are all in their protection bubble um, in the light. Thank you so much. Okay. Slightly different setup today. I hope you like it. Okay. Ooh. Three cards, please, for the collective. I feel like I want to take these three, but I'm going to put them back. Okay. There's one. Two. One more, please, for it. Thank you so much. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at each card. Um, I'll tune into each energy, and you can just, you know, see how they resonate for you. This isn't a pick a pile, this is a collective reading. This is going to be a slightly different format from the usual collective readings that I do. I just felt called to do a collective reading for you all. So just take it as it resonates. And then we're going to go straight into the collective um, Celtic cross spread. OK, so let's have a look at essentially what would be what would be pearl one is wisdom. OK, so we have wisdom here. So this could be about you being single for a while so that you can become your highest self be in silence and be the best version of yourself, ready for love, I'm hearing. Okay, you could be a Virgo or you could be, um, well, the opposite of Virgo is Pisces, so that could also be of resonance to you. Number 10 typically is an ending. So you could be ending a situation or having ended a relationship or a situationship in order to um, find solace and find really, truly what you're wishing for. OK, this involves being in solitude for a while um, in order to become one with spirit, I'm hearing, so that you could then become one with another. All right, so that would technically be pearl one. Uh, I think I've got wax on the table. It's really annoying. <laughs> uh, this would be pearl two, essentially. So for those of you who resonate with dragons, this could also be your pearl as well. Or this could resonate for you. So we do have a one here, as you can tell. You can also take a screenshot of this too. So we have a one here. We have a new portal, an opening. You could have a guide in spirit as well. Some of you have already just initiated a connection or have initiated... Um, a conversation with the air energy here um, with somebody and you're curious about 
this connection or maybe taking the next step uh, within this connection. Um, I'm hearing the word demise, so I don't know why I'm hearing that. But um, there could also be an energy where you are in the public realm somehow. And there are people that are wishing for your demise. They don't want you to do well in all in all aspects, including your love life. So that could be of resonance. Um, air energy is Gemini, Aquarius and Libra. So those could be significant signs for you. OK. You have a very expansive energy as well. OK. All right, let's have a look at the third card. We have thought. <clears throat> we have thought. Um, I'm getting the sense of uh, there's a bit of an indecision here. There's a woman who's looking at a cauldron. You can take a screenshot of that if you like. She's kind of looking at a cauldron or she's scrying with water or fire or air even, so that she can get some more information. Um, I feel like there's some sort of confusion here. So she should, she could be, she could be also you as a he. So don't worry about the gender so much. Um, she could be consulting an oracle. She could, could be consulting a psychic, a tarot reader, um, a shaman, you name it, in order to get some more information about um, something. There could be some confusion here. Now we have a 10... 15, so, so 10 and 5, 15, 16, 17 and 18. 18 typically would be the moon card in the tarot. It's a major arcana. Um, the moon card is all about the mother, the home, emotions, fears as well, um, illusions, dreams and making sure that you pay, pay, um, pay it forward I'm hearing but pay attention to your intuition as well. I feel like some of you could already be in a connection in this one um, and you're just not sure about this connection. OK, so there's some confusion. There's also something that's going to be coming up to light. Um, the shadow aspect of the moon is also, um, you know, truths that are going to come up to light. So there could be someone lying here or some deceptive energies here, particularly with the masks involved here. So you could be in a connection, but you're feeling alone in this connection. All right. So let's now have a look at the Celtic cross. OK. Um, and we're going to be starting with the um, Biddy Tarot. OK. So... Let's just see how this is going to go. For those of you who resonate with all of these messages, where you could be confused about someone while you're single, but you've initiated a connection with somebody. Um, there's going to be clarity in this reading as well about that. So they're telling me to add up all the numbers. We have 18 plus 1 is 19. Okay, 19 plus 10 is 29. So you could be 29 years old. 9 and 2 is 11. Either way, there is a destined um, meetup, a destined opening and a destined transition forward with the new portal energy of 11. 11 is the justice card in the major arcana as well, where people are going to get their just karma, whatever the situation is. All right. Let's tell me to shuffle one more time. Bear 
bears, dragons, forests could also be of significance as well. You may also be having dreams of bears. Um, there could have been a, a harsh winter for a lot of you with regards to love in general. Okay, lots of uh, lots of life lessons you've experienced as well. Dragons could also be significant if I haven't already said it before. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm already starting to channel. Okay, all right, so let's have a look. So let's have a look at the main energies for the collective. I don't know how this is going to happen. How I'm going to, let me just, one second, let me just put these over here. They've got more space for um, reading. Hopefully you can see all of that. Okay. They're telling me to do this. <laughs> okay, right. So let's have a look at the cards. Okay. So we have the judgment card. Yeah, exactly. So the judgment card is telling me that there has been a new beginning, a wake up call. Some of you are sort of waking up to a situation. Um, some of you have felt dead inside, I'm hearing, which is very dramatic, but there may have been some drama where, that you have been involved in as well. Um, involved, involving people, involving um, third party situations as well. Um, this may have happened during the winter months, possibly for some of you. Um, I'm just seeing that there has been definitely something quite alarming. Some of you have also experienced a... Um, dark night of the soul and you're coming up for air i'm hearing so this is what i'm channeling right now someone have may have had a wake-up call in this connection in this situation they may have had um a really close encounter with death i'm hearing as well so um there's also this energy of someone waking up to life in general so when you wake up to life in general, it means that you want to live a life worth living and that involves all of your connections. And so there could have been you feeling kind of out in the cold. Maybe there was a breakup for some of you and you felt really dead inside, I'm hearing. And now you're having a second lease of life and maybe a second chance in love. And I feel like you're coming into a brand new you, I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, let's continue. Let's have a look at the, um, what you're leaving behind from your recent past. Okay, so we have a King of Cups. So this can also be um, involving um, the energies from your recent past as well. So we have the King of Cups here. You are maybe dealing with a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio energy, or you're dealing with someone who could be a father a father to your children, a father figure, or you could be dealing with um, someone who was, there was a lot of love um, and this person, your counterpart um, in this situation was someone who had a lot of love um, and a lot of emotions and their intentions are very heartfelt, um, but there may have been a moving away in a connection. So this could be someone like a foreigner I'm hearing. So you could be dealing with a foreigner, someone at a long distance from you, and you've had to move away um, in order for you to, well, we'll find out, but you, there's, a, there's a distance here. There's definitely travel involved here and a moving away from someone who you felt a strong connection with. Let's have a look and see Let's have a look and see um, your near future. We have a page of pentacles. OK, so the page of pentacles is telling me that there is in your new fit, near future a message, um, an offer. OK, um, someone sending you a text message, something tangible, a communication that where it's um, 
you know, tangible communication. So a phone call, a text message, a letter, a um, a visit as well. Um, yeah, there's, this is also you taking the steps in towards your new sta stability, your new life. You know, you, you see we have flowers here as well. So we have this kind of energy of coming out into spring. So the energy of like flourishing, the energy of... Um, I'm feeling ripe for the picking here because we have grapes on this woman's um, ear um, around her head area. You can see that there's um, grapes here. So I feel like you're ripe for the picking now. So you're before before maybe you just felt like you had to shed a lot, shed your ego, shed your beliefs about love. Um, and as you've gone within, now you're feeling even with the help from oracle readers even with the help through me through um these free readings here on youtube and on instagram if they are resonating with you please do press the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you so much it really do, does mean a lot and it helps more people to um find me here as well so there, there you know there has been some help here through a spiritual entity maybe even through a guide and spirit maybe a dragon maybe even archangel michael here with the dragon energy and the ace of air here um air energy is michael energy with the spear the sword the dagger we also have an an angel here don't we so you know this could also be archangel gabriel for some of you but um, I'm seeing here that there is an, a guide here and um, some spiritual entities, some spiritual help, even in the physical world. Um, that have been helping you to just keep going and keep moving forward, to be honest. Um, so that's what I'm seeing here. Let's have a look in what's what's in your headspace. What's in your headspace? OK, in your headspace, we have the Hierophant. So in the headspace, we definitely have you... Um, Thinking about a relationship, thinking about a connection, thinking about your belief systems, Taurus energy coming in strong. There's there's a really there's a real importance here with regard to marriage and commitment. And that's what's in your headspace at this time. This may not be um, resonating for you. Um, well, I feel like whenever you're tuning into my videos anyway, they they come at the right time. The messages come at the right time. They land at the right time. So all of my videos are completely timeless. So maybe at the time of this reading, while I'm reading it, uh, this may not resonate for you now, but the time that you find this video, it will resonate for you. Where really you're in your head about um, the importance of a commitment, the importance of being with someone who is like-minded, being with someone who has the same belief systems, the same religion, even the same culture, the same creed, the same philosophy, the same ethics. That's really important to you. That's what's in your, that's what fills your mind. Taurus energy here, as I mentioned before. Okay. So, um, yeah, we have you wanting stability. We have you wanting um, you know, thinking about stability and thinking about maturity as well. Maybe maybe you in your head, you're also thinking about looking for a teacher, um, looking for a mentor um, as well, um, looking to have a blessing as well from your community, a blessing from your peers uh, or your peer. Um, I feel like there's there's a desire also, like you're thinking about a mentor, you're thinking about an elder here um, where you can get some wise and sage advice I'm hearing about relationships. Now let's have a look um, at your the root of the matter here. We have the King of Wands here. Okay, the King of Wands, um, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, the King of Wands is someone who um, I feel you're very sexually driven at this time. You're um, your root chakra is activated and you're definitely ready for um, a physical intimate connection. OK, uh, we're going to go deeper with the Villa Sibila and the Romance Angels cards. Don't worry. Um, and I see that there could be um, a strong desire for some of you who are wanting to um, be in a connection of a same sex partnership because you found out through your, your spiritual inquiry on your own at some point here with the wisdom card where you were like, actually, 
I'm born again in a new identity and a new form and I have a new lease of life and I've been confused about my sexuality for a long time. Some of you may be thinking about this. You've been in your thoughts about this, right? Um, but I see here that now you're actually like, OK, I'm actually going to be true to myself and maybe I need to think about being with my community and actually express myself with the same sex partnership here. I hope this is making sense for you. Um, that's what I'm seeing. For some of you who don't resonate with that idea or that creed, um, I'm, I'm seeing that there is a lot of passion, a lot of drive. Um, there's Sagittarius energy here, Leo energy here, as well as Aries energy here. So there could be um, a drive, um, a lot of passion, a lot of um, action in the root chakra energy. So this is someone who is now experiencing a heightened libido. So for a lot of you, you could be feeling more um, sexually desirous, sexually active. This could also be you attracting a lot of admirers because you have a lot of sex appeal, you know, so that could be taking place right now. Um, yeah, so that could be taking place right now. Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at the blockage. I'm just curious. Wow. The death card, exactly. So I did mention death, didn't I? So we have this energy of you being resuscitated from the dead, you know, and again, we have that boat here, you moving away. And you knew that there was always going to be the sun, um, the sunset or the sunrise. So there was a major sun setting and a connection. Maybe this was, again, the death of the ego and a sun setting in a connection, a sun setting between a masculine and a feminine. Make sure to find out where your, in your natal chart, where your um, Scorpio is. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you may have Scorpio in Mars or Scorpio in Venus here with the glyphs. But death has come through in order to end a connection here between a same-sex partnership or even um, a heterosexual partnership. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and you've had to move on. And you were like, oh, please, death, I don't, I don't, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to end this connection. And we have the same, same person here, you know, asking for another guide, but for help as well, for, for, for resolution, I'm hearing. I'm hearing that Muse song, the Muse band, Muse. Um, someone may have seen you as their Muse, possibly. But as soon as they saw you as a Muse and released you from being put on a pedestal, they also just ended a connection. This could have been ending a connection abruptly. So, yeah, I'm seeing that, there, you know, you didn't want this connection to end. And there was a block here because death had to come in and say, no, you you deserve you deserve something better here. You know, that you may have been dealing with someone who didn't want to connect with you and commit with you for the long term. OK, there were, because there was a lot of passion, a lot of a lot of physical chemistry attraction there. But maybe that wasn't enough for you. And we have you. We have death here waving a flag of the flower where death is saying, you know, you have. We have we have you, we see you flourishing in the near future, but you have to move away. This could have been a six of swords energy here where you had to reluctantly move away from a connection, maybe physically and even at a distance um, and move into that portal energy of the judgment and the moon card here that we have here. Essentially, in this card where, you know, it brought up a lot of fears. It brought up a lot of fears of inadequacy. It brought up a lot of fears of um, reluctance to move on, reluctance of ending. There could have been denial here. You know, with mourning, when you mourn something, mourn a connection, mourn someone, um, there's a lot of different stages of mourning. There's, there's the shock factor. There's denial. There's hope. There's... Um, anger there's all these emotions and so you may have experienced that 
You may also be dealing with the Scorpio, but I see that this blockage has now been lifted and you're feeling lighter. You're, you're lifted now. And that's what's happening in the present moment. So let's have a look at the energy around you. We have five of wands. So a lot of you, you could be dealing with people who... Um, you could be dealing with people who are in competition with you. You could be um, dealing with people who are, who are wanting your, um, again, again, you know, wanting your demise is what I was picking up earlier. Wanting your demise because you are a public figure. You, They don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to do well. Um, you know, this could also be a lot of arguments around you as well or conflict around you. Lots of challenges around you as well. Uh, lots of, um, you know, angry, a lot, a lot of anger around you, not you personally, but around you. Excuse me. There could be a lot of anger around you. So I just need to blow my nose. And there could be some conflict here where you're having to, you know, maybe maybe say strong and maybe you know put up your boundaries as well um maybe there's some conflict maybe if you're in a connection right now um there could be some arguments that that are all that are around you right now or that could be taking place soon there's also um competition so there could be people who are wanting to be with you so you have a lot of admirers as well <clears throat> so that could be it um let's have a look and see um I also want to point out in the home space the root chakra is also the home space um and your blood there's a lot of passion here so this could involve a hot climate a home where there's a hot climate you know uh because we have Sagittarius Leo and Aries energy Aries energy is about the emperor you know, about knowing what you want. Um, Leo energy is about being centre stage, but also being loyal, uh, loving um, and compassionate. Um, the, the, the perfect parent. And then Sagittarius energy is about the philosopher, the humanitarian and the traveller as well. So you could be dealing with these energies, by the way. Let's have a look at your hopes and fears. We have the Queen of Cups. Interesting. So the hopes and fears is we have a King and a Queen of Cups here. So for some of you, you could be wanting to, you hoping to connect or reconnect with someone from your past. Some of you um, have met someone recently who you feel could be a kindred spirit um, because this is the same suit here, King and Queen of Cups, yeah? Um, so you could be dealing with that. Um, there's also this energy of you're hoping to be emotionally open. You also are going to be paying attention to your intuition, but you're fearing about loving again because the Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy and the Queen of Cups is love. Cups energy is love. So it's about nurturing love and you're maybe fearing about nurturing a new connection, nurturing love in general. OK, but you're hoping to be with someone who matches your energy as well and matches your heart, kind of giving the energy of the two of cups. Right. So let's have a look and see what the next steps are. Nine of swords. OK. So you could be the next steps could be involving you being up in your head, um, up in your head about a situation, about a person, about conflict. Um, your next steps could involve you staying up at night, being anxious, worried and concerned, um, you know, a lot of insomnia, not being able to sleep. Now, I just want to say this could also be the moon cycle as well that's taken place recently in Capricorn. So there could be that involved. Um, yeah, we're going to get some more cards. Let's have a look and see what the overall outcome could be. Six of Wands. So I feel like, to be honest with you, there's no real need to worry too much because I feel like you are going to get your desires met. Um, and I see that 
there is a need to essentially release your ego. Six of Wands is a victory card. Um, I also do see, just as a side note, I know this is a divine love spread, but I see a lot of you are gaining recognition as well, for being committed to your dreams, your integrity as well. Um, and you're in a completely new stage of your life. And I think that people are perceiving that and they're kind of in anticipation, waiting to see what your next step is, what your next project is going to be, um, what your next step is in terms of your career. I feel like there's people who are wanting to compete with you as well. So remember that love and work are both connected because how you treat yourself in a connection is also how you get treated in your relationships at your workplace as well. So that's just a little hint for you. Um, we have number six here, which is balance, but also, you know, being admired by your peers. You know, we do have that here. And I think I mentioned that earlier. So I do see that there is um, definitely achievements here and you being centre stage and, you know, being looked at and put on a pedestal again. And maybe this is also you seeing yourself as like, wow, I've achieved so much after this. I don't even recognise myself anymore from this past person that I was I was or I was with because you've now completely transformed and transitioned into something new this is the energy of the rise of the phoenix so you've given birth to a new era you've given birth to a new life I'm also hearing um you know the era albums which is um Taylor Swift's um albums where you could be I just heard emancipating so you could be um you know, channeling your eras in relationships through channeling through music, through some creative project, creative endeavour as well. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, let's have a look at the bottom of the deck. We have the hanged man. So there may have been some delays, Pisces energy here, or someone who's been holding back um, from from connecting or committing with you because they only had emotions involved here um they only had sorry desires involved here and nothing else this was someone who was kind of in and out uh was giving you crumbs and they had deceptive energies but you've moved away from that and also physically geographically too three of pentacles is telling me there's going to be um an energy of collaboration as well coming soon in your workplace as well let's have a look now at the vera sibila and see what else we need to know let's get some clarity i'm just shuffling the cards for those of you who are asking about the candles the candles are mango flavored <laughs> mango flavored mango scented Main energies, um, signs here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, um, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, um, Scorpio, as I said, Taurus as well, Virgo energy, Air energy, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Okay, let's have a look at the let's have a look at the main energy here with the Vera Sibilla with the judgment card. Yeah. So you're opening into a new door, you're 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 moving into a new era, a new chapter here. Look, we have La Riunione. So this could be a, a reunion, a connection with someone who's gonna be um not just love bombing you in a bad way but actually treating you with respect and also with a lot of love um this is a new person I, I feel like for some of you this is a new person okay um 60 could be significant six is more balance as well in a connection this is divine love number six number four is stability as well number four could be of significance six and four adds up to ten which is a new chapter Fiori, Otto di Fiori is um, travel, communication, um, lots of text messages, lots of back and forth. I also see 
Um, this is maybe someone from abroad as well with Otto di Fiore does talk about travel as well. So this is someone who may be coming to visit you as well. Let's have a look at the, um, this could also be a soulmate connection from your past, from a um, past life. And they're part of your soul tribe, right? Let's have a look at the recent past. We have La Fortuna. To be honest with you, or Fortuna, to be honest with you, I, I kind of get the sense that a lot of you have already moved away from low vibrational energies, essentially, um, or you're in the transition of that. So I see that you have maybe found or met your jackpot with someone, in someone here, um, who, was a, who was open, who was emotionally open here with their cup ready to open up um, to you as well. So, um, but for some of you who have also let go of someone who didn't want the same things as you, didn't want to commit for the long term, there has been a fated change and a fated evolvement in this connection into something else. So in your recent past, um, I see that there has been a change. Um, there has been a fated ending and a fated moving forward because the wheel of fortune just keeps rolling you know it just keeps moving forward you know just keeps moving and it's also the energy of karma as well so it's the energy of what goes up must come down and so I feel like you've had to let go of someone from your recent past in order to for you to flourish like this like pure again pure of heart there's a cornucopia of abundance someone in your recent past may have seen you as someone who had a lot of monta, like a lot of open um, fortune, a lot of um, goodness, you know, in more ways than one. And maybe they took advantage of that. Uh, maybe they took advantage of your open energy, your giving energy. We have Cinque di Fiori here, which is a five of wands, which we actually have here. So there could have been some conflict here, some challenges in that connection. We have 59 here could be significant. Nine and five is 14. 14 is the temperance card, which talks about, um, you know, same sex partnerships, LGBTQ plus, or it can talk about um, the energy of, you know, tempering your emotions, making sure that you didn't get too irate, <laughs> um, staying, being steady, you know, maybe wanting something steady. Yeah. Um, Sagittarius energy here, temperance card is number 14. Number five here, again, challenges. I feel like you've been dealing with challenges in your recent past. 14 and five is number 19. Number 19 is the sun card. So you've been wanting to move towards happiness and joy. There may have been joy here in the recent past, you know, but maybe there wasn't enough, you know. The joy card, the sun card, is the soulmate card. Maybe you were dealing with a karmic love connection um, that you had to deal with. Um, so that you can close out that cycle into something new. And now you're moving into a soulmate connection where there is there's more there's more stability. Number 19, 901 is 10. Again, endings and new beginnings. You can't make it up with even even with the numerology, you can't make it up. <laughs> so have a look at the um the the near future. Well, yeah, look, I mean we have Imeneo. So we have in the near future someone offering you um, a date, a message, uh, a commitment, essentially, um, wanting to date you. Um, we have 82 here, which could be significant. 82 is 8 and 2 is 10. And we have, again, that new beginning, which we have here. So we also have uh, Aso di Fiori, which is the Ace of Wands. So we have a new exciting um exciting path opening up here we have fire here the flames are rising um the flames of passion are rising the flames of a new flame you know the energy of a new flame is coming in you know ace aces are new energy so a new flame is sparking joy within you you know quite literally in the near future um we also have eight and two 28 which is 10 again so we have this reverse. Can you see that? 82 and 28 is the same number mirrored. So we have this energy of a mirrored energy here where you're feeling like a recognition with someone here. Um, and there's a flame being sparked and, and ignited here. Interesting. So we have a new energy here in the near future. And we do have this new energy here as well with the page of pentacles. 
you know, which is someone stable, a message, someone could be younger than you as well, or even a student of life. This could also be someone who's wanting to study you, essentially meaning someone who wants to get to know you better. Let's have a look at the um, what's in your headspace here. Wow, we have La Namika. So in your headspace, we have someone maybe that you're dealing with um, who has bad intentions. This is a female in particular who um, doesn't, again, remember how I said demise? There is someone in your headspace. There could also be, this could also be someone who's dealing with uh, cartomancy, pyromancy. This could be a, a black witch. So a witch who delves in with the black arts here, who is trying to get into your head, essentially. So I want to just cleanse the energy of that for you. Um, angels, ancestors, guys, please help the person who is connecting with this energy to remove this person from inflicting harm and manipulative tactics from this person's headspace, please. Thank you so much. It is done. Archangel Michael says it is done. So there could have been someone who's been trying to interfere with your connection or getting in your head here. Wow. With someone who did want your demise. I was wondering why I heard this demise energy earlier. So there could have been someone here. This could also be someone um, who was married to someone that you were dealing with as well. And they've been trying to get in your head. Um, and maybe you didn't want to be a third party, third party person. I'm actually going to cancel that energy and just get another card because we don't need that energy here. Yeah, look, we have Bambino. So we have Bambino here. We have a new start. So in your head, we have you wanting a connection that is true, that is not toxic, that is pure, um, where in your head you're wanting someone to be free and open and uh, ready. You're wanting to be with someone who is free, open and single for a lot of you as well. You're wanting to be with someone who is not committed already to another connection. We have Bambino here, which is a new beginning, as I said before, a new start. You're also wanting to be with someone in your headspace who also wants a child or, or who wants children. This person could also have a child already and there could have there could be someone um, around here who's part of, maybe they're a baby mama, you know, maybe there's someone who you have a, a connection with um, who have children with a past person who was toxic, you know, but you're wanting a baby, you're wanting children with this person no matter what. We have the seven of uh, pentacles here, set of the quadris, the seven of pentacles. So you're wanting to work, continue working on this connection or you're wanting this person to think the same things about you, you know, thinking that you want the same thing, you're wanting to progress to the next stage and you're kind of wanting that harvest, you know, which is, which is a product of your love, essentially a baby, children, a new beginning. Uh, for those of you who are traditional, you're wanting to be courted, you're wanting to be treated well, you're wanting a fresh stage in your connection. We have 47 here, could be significant. Seven and four is eight, nine, 10, 11. Again, that portal energy here, 11 and one is 12. Um, and we have the energy of the emperor here. Two and one is round out, rounded down to three. Uh, the 12 energy is also the um, the hanged man, Pisces energy. So someone was hanging around. Someone was, you know, delaying a connection with you, delaying you from having children even. And this has been really in your headspace a lot. So for some of you, you want to be in a connection with someone who wants children and isn't going to be, you know, waiting around or holding you back from your desires to actually have children essentially if that makes sense for you okay let's have a look in the root chakra we have la constanza so we have you being um we have you being someone's wish fulfillment here ten of cups is you know harmony happy family dreams come true in a connection um in the root space we also see you being an ultimate dream for someone because you've got it in you've got it in the bag I'm hearing <laughs> um they have a lot of desire for you here with the king of wands but also they have they um they see you as so for someone in the physical bedroom intimate bedroom setting this is someone who will um make you very happy in the bedroom and they will not stop until you reach that climactic peak I'm hearing Okay, for, if that 
resonates for you. Um, yeah, we have we have stability here again. La Constanza is state of stability, so it's not only just a physical intimate encounter or situation; it's actually um, something that is going to be stable, something that wants stability. Yeah, someone that wants stability. Fifty two here. For those of you who can see it in the card, there you go. Um, those of you who see it in the cards, it's 52. And 5 and 2 is 7. Um, 7 is the chariot. So there's someone who wants to rush in quickly towards you, but they're actually wanting to be stable. They want to rush in and stay. They don't want to rush in and, like, go away. And they also love to be inside you as well, is what I'm hearing, or that that's what they're desiring. Uh, five and two is seven, seven and six. The lover's card is making an important choice here with the number six here. So you again, you may be entertaining multiple lovers for those of you in the LGBTQ plus community, but there's one that's going to be sticking around for longer. Uh, for those of you who are heterosexual, six is making an important choice within your love life. OK, this could be Gemini energy as well. So maybe you're moving away from a twin flame dynamic with the two pillars here and moving on to a soulmate connection here. There has been a rupture as well in the connection. So seven and six is 13. 13 is the death card. So again, endings here. And there's a transformation where you're feeling more stable, more assertive and also confident in the bedroom, I would say. That's what I would say. Let's have a look at the uh, blockage here with the death card that we had. We have Giovine Fanciulla. So we have a beautiful young maiden here. We also have the 12 of Fiori, which is the queen of wands. So what was blocking you was someone seeing you as just someone who was very attractive, someone who they wanted to be with because you have lots of admirers. You know, um, the blockage was being with someone who um, you had to end a connection with because they just wanted to be around you, you know, because you um, are very well known, you are very attractive, you're very beautiful, you're very sexy, like that isn't the right reason to be with someone, just having physical chemistry with this. It's important to be with someone, yes, that you have physical chemistry with, but you also want the same things as well. You want to be on the same page. Um, we have um, an ending and a transformation here where I do see you having a lot of admirers here um, after your transformation. You know, you could have had a glow up. You may have been dieting. You may have been fasting. You may have been doing exercise. You may have been really redefining your physical appearance. Maybe you've been doing a bit of plastic surgery, a bit of Botox. You're changing your hair, your outfit, your outlook on life, your 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 look, your dress, your appearance. Something about you is glowing. And again, we have here. Um, you know, there are people who are vying for your attention. So again, you, you're coming across as very attractive, but also with the Queen of Wands energy, this is someone who is not afraid to cut someone out. Uh, maybe even vocally saying, you know, you're dead to me, which is quite harsh, but, you know, you know what you want. This is the energy of um, Rihanna energy. It's like someone who's a bad, you know, a bad B-I-T-C-H, you know, someone who knows their worth and they're not just going to give that, they're not going to give their body to anyone, you know, that you know who you are now and you're giving thanks in a way to that past connection that you had because now you know really what you're worth and now you know what you're, now you know what you're, you're meant to have, what you deserve. Let's have a look at the numbers. 81 could be significant. Eight and one is nine. So it's been a difficult situation. It's been very, very difficult to end a situation, but you did in the end. Uh, number 20 is the judgment card, actually, which we have here, which is interesting. So we have a new lease of life here. Um, and I also feel like someone's been judged poorly. And I feel like you've been judged poorly. You've been seen poorly. You've been also judged harshly. There have been a lot of people that have had judgment on you. You may have... Um, be being a little bit judgmental, you know, towards um, a past connection because they did you wrong. You know, they hurt you. They they ended a situation, maybe even ghosted you potentially, or they just weren't willing to go the distance with you. Okay, um, they may have there may have been a lot of judgment. I'm picking up on um, 
uh, I'm picking up on gossip around you. There's a lot of people, because you are maybe in the public eye, there are a lot of people who talk about you. It's like a telenovela thing, or it's more about like, you know, like Just Jared or um, Heat magazine, you know, where people are like, oh, what, what are they, who are they dating now? Like, da -da -da, we saw them out with so and so and so and so. You know, there's a lot of people that want to know about your love life. life. Um, yeah, but you're, you're definitely gaining wisdom and you've, you've also spoke to, spoken to an oracle um, about your love life here. Now, nine and two is 11. Again, new, new doors, new openings, a, a partnership as well. Interesting partnership uh, balance here. So let's have a look at the people around you. As I said, yeah, there's a death of chit chat, a death of gossip, a death of conflict here. You know, another death card here, La Morte or Morte. 46, um, you've also ended drama around you. You've ended conflict around you. You've ended arguments around you. You've ended um, being, quote unquote, entertained by people who just love that entertainment. They love drama. They love to, they love to, to stir the, the pot. We have 46 here, which is 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Again, endings, you know, 46 could be significant. Number 13 is the death card here in the death card here, which is interesting. So these are people around you that you may have cut them out um, and they, they were a blockage for your future and for your destiny. So these people around you were just causing you drama. They were a blockage towards your destiny. And now they're picking up the fact they're getting the memo that you actually have genuinely cut them out <laughs> which is interesting now three and one is four with the number 13 is four because you're wanting stability you're wanting more stability in people you're wanting to be around people who are stable minded stable just generally you know just trustworthy people that you can rely on um four and ten which we had in 46 is 14 temperance you know you want people that go and heal themselves internally you want people that heal you when you're around them too you know it's a reciprocal energy Sagittarius energy here as well for some of you you want them to be wanting to be around people that aren't just going to be explosive I feel like there could be around you or the next few like soon some sort of like massive blow up of an argument here um, I feel like this needs to happen because you need to end a situation or there's someone who needs to know that you're done with them, okay? We have Cinque di Pico, which is the Five of Pentacles, which is interesting. Uh, we have the Five of Wands here. Some of you could actually be ending a relationship, ending a breakup here, ending a partnership here, and actually breaking up with someone that could end up being a little bit tumultuous before you come into the calm. So it's kind of the calm before the storm for some of you, all right? So this, this is a pre-warning to get ready for that conflict, conflictual energy. Let's have a look at the next step here with the Queen of Cups. Il Verdovo, yeah? So um, Pisces, Cat, Scorpio energy here. Your fears, your sorry, your hopes and fears, my apologies. Your hopes and fears is you hope to move on. You hope to end and move on um, and just mourn this connection once and for good. You hope to move on from a connection from your past, your recent past, at uh, once and for good. You want to just bury the hatchet I'm hearing you want to just move on and I kind of get the feeling that you don't want to keep visiting that grave you just want to move on uh, but you fear that you will keep move you keep you fear that you will keep wanting to visit the grave you know for more lessons for more inquiry um, but it's time to just leave the past in the past and move towards your future move, move towards living your life that is true you know because you have a new lease of life, everyone. Spirit has given you a new lease of life, so take advantage of that, is what Spirit is saying. Be with someone who is true. And your fears are, as I said before, fears of maybe being emotionally open. There are, There's a little bit of fear of commitment here. You're also fearing whether someone is still tied to their past with someone else that they've ended a relationship with or that they've blocked I'm hearing online even um you're fearing that someone may not be true to you emotionally um you're hoping that this this person is um 
is ready. We have 48 could be significant and 36 that could be significant. <clears throat> so 48 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is the hanged man, Pisces energy here. So you're, you're hoping that someone has seen you in a different light, different perspective, um, that they've seen the light of day, that they're not in their ego. Um, but you're also hoping, this could be a Pisces as well, with Hangman and Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy here, with Queen of Cups. You're hoping that this person isn't just going to be always withdrawn from you energetically because they're still mourning their past. Yeah. So that could be significant. There's a pre-warning as well. 36 could be significant too. Six and three is seven, eight and nine. So difficult endings are about to take place. Um, nine and 12 is um, 22. Wait, nine, nine, 10, yeah, 22. So wait, what am I talking about? Nine and 12 is 21 so 21 is universal endings you know universal a universal end here so your hopes and fears is that you're going to have a universal ending a, a complete change the world card is 21 is the universe and the world the world card is also about travel about relocation about um a new chapter in your life a new beginning can also talk about pregnancies as well. Um, can also talk about foreigners and foreign travel. Can also talk about languages as well. So you're hoping to travel for some of you in order to meet the right person. You're hoping to um, close out a cycle, but I feel like you're hoping that someone else does as well. I wouldn't hold hold on too long I would say this is a hint from spirit is also to not hold and wait for too long for someone who's not ready for you go live your life you know let's have a look at the next steps with the nine of swords here we have amore yeah you know there's no there's no doubting the next steps is to let go of what's in your head because I feel like you're burdened by something from your past here you're burdened from something in your past that's still keeping you up at night um, and not helping you relax and not helping you sleep. So the next step is to open up to love, essentially. 84 could be significant. 45 could be significant. And we have the Four of Cups. So there's kind of boredom energy here. Um, but make sure that you're grateful for the lessons that you have learned from love in general in your life. That, those are the next steps. 84 is 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have you, you know, seeing something or someone from a different angle and a different perspective you're no longer holding back from being yourself emotionally as well and that that may be even your fear like you're holding back from being emotionally open so spirit is saying you have to end this idea or end this feeling because you being your vulnerable self is important but yes it's also important to have boundaries as well you kind of have to meet people at the stages that they meet you as well you know so if they're being open, you can also be open. It's about trusting as well, I would say. So your next steps involve love, essentially, um, which is beautiful. Yeah. So you have 12 here and 45. So four and five is nine. Uh, nine in the major arcana is the hermit card, which we had kind of hinted here with the wisdom card. So, you know, nine is you being single and next, like you're up in your head going, am I going to be single forever? And actually it's a no, you're not going to be single forever. For those of you who resonate with these messages so far, please do press the like button, subscribe to the channel. Nine and 12 is 11, wait, nine and, oh gosh, this is so annoying. I just did this. Nine and 12 is 21. So again, we have a new beginning, a whole new cycle, a whole new chapter, and I would say a new love entering your life. So let go of your fears, basically. Let's have a look at the general outcome with the six of wands, la leggerezza. So your the outcome is as you as you continue to be on the right path, is victory, is success, people seeing you be being admired. Um, I feel like you're you're on stage and people are like really wanting to to be with you or be you <laughs> collective okay so we have la leggerezza being light-hearted 
um, a lighter energy is coming in. I mean, look, you're also like up high, you're elevated and you're elevating. You're being a positive inspiration to people as well. I feel like you're just going to be less burdened here with the Yeshi Di Fiori, ten of, ten of Wands. You're letting go of your burdens. You're not no longer holding yourself back and you're moving forward, you know, and people are praising you. They're, you're Also, the accomplishments that you're creating through your creativity as well um, are going to be praised as well. We have 50 could be significant. Five um, are lessons learned from challenges as well. 15 uh, is the is the devil card you know so your your temptation for many <laughs> um you're letting go of control issues um and five and one is six because you believe in a balanced loving soulmate divine love connection six and five um is the five is also the hierophant as well. So you're moving towards a commitment as well, which is beautiful, which is going to be lighter. You're going to be, I'm hearing free my soul. Your your soul is going to be free. Your soul is going to be more lighthearted. You're going to feel happier, generally speaking. The butterfly is also a bit of a social butterfly as well. You're Mr. and Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Popular. You may be moving into a connection where there is a power couple dynamic, like Mr. and Mrs. Powerful. Five and six is 11 again. So again, a new portal, a new beginning here. Let's have a look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Nadi, you know, great fortune is coming here. Great, great fortune. A lot of you are becoming very successful. You, you're you being seen as someone who is very fortunate, very lucky, but also has a lot to give as well. So be careful because there are people that want to be you or be with you for the wrong reasons. So make sure that you you know, are guarded here as well. Make sure of that. And this is the path that you're leaving behind as well. You're also leaving behind someone who is going to be returning to you that has false intentions. You may be, um, again, because you're wanting to be with a new love, a new love, um, and you're wanting clear communication or conversation. Maybe there is someone who's wanting clear communication or conversation with you that you've let go of. And this is someone from your past you know, just be careful of your alcohol as well and drink. Um, just just side note. OK, let's have a look at the Romance Angels cards. So they're telling you to move all this out of the way. Do hope you're enjoying this reading. It's um a slightly different format. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm just gonna leave these to the side, okay, in case they come up and they have resonance with these romance angels cards. So let's have a look at the messages for the collective with regard to love, divine love, and the path to love, please, spirit. Thank you so much. This card also wants to come out and that. Okay, let's have a look. Free yourself. I'm going to pull the cards out first. Deception. Express your love. Uh, calling your soulmate. Trust. Yep. Flirt. Past life re relationship. Give your relationship a chance. Unrequited love. Let's get three more, please, Spirit. Hopefully you can see all these cards. Let me just move them up a little bit. Hopefully you can see. Oh, there. Okay. Three cards, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. With regard to divine love. <clears throat> three cards. Three cards, please, Spirit. Separation. Two more cards. Mm -hmm. Love yourself first. One more card, please, Spirit. Thank you. One 
one more card for delight, divine love. Oh, thank you. Healing family issues. And this card also wants to show itself. Romantic feelings. Okay. All right. So it says here. Um, I'm going to break it down a little bit like an oracle card reading. Okay. And I'm also going to channel this too. So let me just grab some water. I'm, he I'm hearing TLC. Tender loving care is important. As you are freeing yourself from ideas about how you get to be loved, you start to see love differently. You start to see that you deserve better. You start to see that you have been in connections that have been deceptive, people that have been wanting to flirt with you, then leave you, separate from you. And it's because they are unrequited. You start to see that this relationship that you keep going back and forth with is deceptive. There are people that are wearing false masks. There are people that are untrue. There is chemistry here, but you keep going back for the wrong reasons because you see chemistry as love. And there is an importance for chemistry. But it's also about requited love. It's about unconditional love. And this feeling of entrapping yourself in situations where people leave you behind and can't go the distance with you, you realise that it stems from family issues. You realise that you need to forgive your parents and learn from those lessons that you received from your childhood in what love was in your childhood because you're repeating cycles in your life now within your love life and within your love languages that stem from childhood your love languages involve affection your love languages involve consistency you're wanting a child you're wanting a great love you're wanting happiness and fun and joy and humor you're wanting true love, you're wanting marriage, you're wanting a relationship, you're wanting to continue to feel independent, you're wanting to end the past and leave it in the past, you want consistency, you want a constant love, you're no longer wanting to be mourning, you're wanting a reconciliation, you're wanting a past life relationship, you're wanting a lover that expresses their love openly. You're not wanting to be trapped or controlled. You're not wanting enemies. You're not wanting deception. You're wanting truth. You're wanting to have faith. You're wanting someone to approach you and express their love towards you. Your feelings are real and worth exploring as you were, as you have been waiting for the right love to appear divine timing is at work in your love life you will have passion you will meet the one and you will have time with each other because you're entering a time of a new love with someone you will be traveling with your loved one you will be releasing your ex once and for good because you will be meeting your soulmate That's all I have for you. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please let me know if you like this video and if you like more readings like that, just put it in the comments. If you like a private reading with me, you know where to find me. Just go directly on the website and book straight, straight there. You can also book a shamanic healing session with me, which is a one-to-one -one, uh, via Zoom. You can do that too. I look forward to your messages your comments please also do press the like button subscribe to abstract medicine here on youtube why not go ahead and follow abstract medicine on instagram as well for daily pulls or at least three days a week where i sometimes do live readings or um just 
read the cards for the collective for that day or for the week or weekend. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to tip me, you can tip me on the tip jar. There's three tip jars of your choice as well. And I'm hoping that you find these messages well. Thank you so much. God bless. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you.